Uh, I want to get back to the market. David Barnson with us now. But first of all, David is a political kind of guy. So I've got a political question for you. Does Wall Street yeah, want it. Biden to win? He's a big spender and Wall Street loves big spender. Who's the, whose side are they on? So my view is that Wall Street is soured on the big spenders. And I want to be very clear. I'm a diehard Republican conservative, but we've had four big spenders in a row. Two were Republicans, two were Democrats. I think Wall Street now knows, Stuart, that big government spending is not stimulative to growth. True. And the fact of the matter is that it's this all this extra national debt is putting downward pressure on economic growth. I don't think Wall Street likes the big spending anymore at all. Quick question about California's wealth tax. There is a proposal to introduce a wealth tax in California. You're a California guy. The wealth tax would tax everybody with a high net worth annually. They just take your money off you before you've actually made a profit. What do you say to that? Well, let me tell you how bad it is in California. I've become a New York guy. And New York is more favorable for taxes than California. Ooh. That's how bad it is, Stuart. <laughs> that is terrible. And, and the wealth... The, yeah, that's right. But the wealth tax is a terrible idea. And the way we can establish this for the left is that Europe tried it and 15 countries got rid of it because it didn't work. They don't collect money. The people leave the state. They leave the jurisdiction. And then they start misallocating resources. They start yeah. doing things that are distortive with their portfolios, with their valuations. They hire accountants and lawyers. The wealth tax doesn't work. Uh, before we close, you're our dividend guy, and you've brought along Chevron as a, div as a good dividend pick. What does it pay? Why do you like it? Well, I just wanted to point out that Chevron's one of the few stocks that is down over the last year, and investors are being given a chance to come back in right now at about $145. It was $185 a year ago. Now, granted, back during COVID, it was around $50, so it's come way higher, but it's still paying a 4.2% dividend, and they've grown the dividend every year for 50 years, and I believe Chevron bought Noble on the cheap during COVID, and now last year they bought Hess. They've added to their portfolio. They're going to be a major player in the Permian Basin. Chevron right now has almost become a value stock at 10 or 11 times earnings. Okay, we'll watch it. Chevron, 4% plus dividend. David, good stuff today. Thanks very much indeed. We will see you again real soon.